Welcome to Ballet Wise. My name is Michael Wise. I'm its host and its creator. Now today we're going to take a slightly different approach. We're going to look at two different dancers, one from the past and one from present today. Now you have to understand that I want you to look at these videos with fresh eyes. I want you to see them for the dancers they are, not their names, not what they've done in the past. Because we have to understand what makes them great. Now, I do need to say this. These videos are going to be my point of view, my commentary. Now, I have been a principal dancer. I've danced all over the world. I'm the first American to have been a principal dancer in the Soviet Union. I have worked in companies in Moscow. I have worked all over the world. Now, once again, it doesn't mean that you're wrong and I'm right. It just means that we both might be right because art is something that's an individual point of view. But I'm going to be attacking this from a point of view of what's good, what's different, and what we might be missing. Now, let's watch the first video. Now let's go over the, perf the first thing that I think many of you have actually looked at is when you do the first jump, I want you to watch how the first leg comes up and when she applies the pressure coming off the floor. Because the best jumpers in the world understand the timing between when they are at the maximum point of energy as the leg lifts so they can maximize the amount of power that's coming off the floor. Now, I also want you to notice that as she goes through that variation, there are moments where we know that she's not technically perfect, but we don't care because there's personality and there's feeling in it. But then when it comes time for her to do her turn section, watch the fact that her face changes because the best of the best understand this, that there's a time to perform, a time to let go. But when it comes down to doing certain technical things, we have to turn it off. We have to focus. Because as you know, that initial jump that she does doesn't look like it's the hardest thing for her to do. And I will be honest, it's a hard jump to do, but she's done it so many times that it's not hard for her. But when she gets to her turn section, you will notice that there's a change in her. And it's because she's focusing on what she's doing. She's not performing. But as soon as it finishes, she goes back to the character and continues to move and perform. And the idea of perfection is not there. Do we want to do those steps the best we can? By all means. But at that moment, in between those steps, she's trying to portray the character and give you that real feeling of just that this is like a firecracker type individual. That's something that many dancers lose. We are so focused on our technique that we can't let go. When you're doing certain variations of certain ballets, it's the character that matters more. So sometimes, because we have to portray the character in the truest form possible, 
Sometimes we're going to sacrifice our technique because telling the story matters more than how many pirouettes we do. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that she lost a lot of her cleanliness by no means, but she wasn't as clean as she could if she had just focused on that movement. She's feeling it. She's letting go. She's dancing. Now, the next video we're going to watch is something that's a lot older, but just as important. And I want you to look at the differences. I want you to find why is this video just as good, but also is very different. Now, in this last video, watch the way she does her balancés. Watch her eyes. Watch her face. Watch how she digs into the floor. She is really giving you that same intensity, but just in a different way. Now, we're talking about a dancer that has danced everything under the sun. And everything she's done has been brilliant, from Swan Lake all the way to Laurencia and Don Q. Back in a different generation, a different age, we would change the way we move, just like she does. We would put the character in our balances, in our steps, the way our hands and arms moved, because it was more about how the character felt. Now, when you watch the video of the past, it's more about the smaller details. The hands, how they get into the floor, how they use their faces and really look into that cam look into the camera or their audience or whoever they're performing for. There was a rawness in the past that really made it captivating to watch. That's why we can watch a video that shows a dancer that was in their prime before I was even born, and still we can find enjoyment and we can learn from it. Now for this variation, we have to understand that the ballet Laurencia was one of the very first dramatic ballets that was ever created. So therefore, the story matters more. We quite often are actually being beaten up and told technique, technique, technique. And there's a time to work on that technique, by all means. But if the focus of the variation is about telling the story, letting you know the character, technique doesn't do that. Brilliance isn't always in the technique. She really dove into the idea of who the character was, the artistry. There's almost like a sense of reckless abandon in her movement quality. I'm not going to sit here and say that her jumps are any worse, that her turns are any worse. They're just different. And that's what art is. Art should not always be repeatable. Art should be different. Each dancer has their own point of view, has their own feelings, and their own differences. Ballet in the past, yes, there was incredible technique. Yes, there were incredible jumps but their focus was on the artistry. I feel like we're so focused on technique 
that artistry has either, either been thrown away or is in second place. And remember, ballet is not a sport. It's not all about the technique. It's an art. We tell stories. We make you feel. We want you to understand what we're trying to say. The first answer had more of the technical wow factor. Jumps were amazing. Turns were amazing. There's a quality and a craziness in everything she did. But then the dancer from the past, look at how she works the stage. Look at how she works the dancers on the stage. Look at how she addresses the audience. Look at how she gets into that floor. And I don't want you to think one is worse than the other. There are multiple paths towards greatness. Let's not lose those qualities that were great in the past while we're moving into the future. So let us know, do you agree with us? Do you disagree with, a, with us? Point out the things that you liked about it. And let's start that conversation because I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong because this is art. We see it differently and we find certain things attractive and other things we don't. So hopefully this video has helped you. My name is Michael Wise. This has been Ballet Wise. And remember, you need to be the best dancer you can be, but it's more important to be the best person you can be. Bye.